good guys, welcome to my first tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some colorful overlays using After Effects. So before I get into anything else, you will actually need a Sapphire plugin to make these overlays um, just because some of the effects I used are from that program. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do two methods to mask out your character. First one is going to be using the pen tool in After Effects. And the second one, which I'm using on this clip, is going to be using the color key effect from After Effects. I'm going to be using these two clips that I used in my recent edit. You're going to want to make sure you have the pen tool selected and then you highlight your clip that you want to mask out. And then to start off masking out your character, you're going to want to start outlining around the character what you want it to cut out. So I'm going to speed this part up because it usually it takes pretty long. Alright, so once you guys have your character or person masked out, you're going to want to duplicate this layer. So by doing this, you're going to want to select the clip, hit Control C and Control V. So now you have two of the same layers. So what you what you're going to want to do on the bottom one is click M and delete both masks so that there's no longer black space on the second one. So now your clip is ready to apply the overlay, so you're going to want to add effects in this order. Now you're set to make your overlay, and I'm going to begin changing these settings to make the background look better. I'm not going to explain what I'm doing here, I'm just going to show you what the settings should look like. So now that you have your overlay on your bottom layer and your clip on your top layer, I also would suggest adding a stroke which is the outline around the character. I think using a white stroke usually looks pretty good. So how are you going to do this is duplicate the layer again. So now you have three of these and on the lower layer you're going to want to put stroke just from After Effects, select all masks and put the brush size around 10. Looks pretty good. So that's the first method of masking out your character, and I'm going to show you guys another one, which is using uh, the color key. So you're going to want to search up color key in the After Effects effects and presets and apply that to your layer. So the first thing you're going to want to do is select anywhere with the little eyedropper, the background, and turn the color tolerance up enough until the whole background is black. Usually, if you can't get all the colors out of the background, you can duplicate color key. You select a couple different colors to make sure that everything in the background is black. So I'm going to try and get these little splotches out, and there you go. Now that you have your character completely masked out, you can do the same thing as the first time. Control copy Control v to duplicate the layer. So on the one below, you're going to want to delete both color keys so that nothing is masked out of your second layer. So now you have your character masked and a duplicated layer below it. You can go back to the first overlay and you can click one, shift, control, copy, control V on the second layer. Again, I'm not going to show you guys me changing all the settings because that will take too long. So I'm just going to change them and then I will show you guys what it looks like after. Now that you have all your effects on your bottom layer, I would suggest adding a white stroke, but unfortunately the stroke doesn't work with the color key. You're going to have to use S underscore drop shadow. So to do this, you're going to want to duplicate the top layer with the two color keys. Control copy, control V. Now that you have it, you want to highlight the middle layer and search up S underscore drop shadow. So now you have this, and you're going to want to make this color white or whatever color you want your stroke to be. Change the shadow opacity to 50. Change the shift X and shift Y to zero. And you can change the shadow blur to however much you want the stroke to be thick. So I think that about 14 looks pretty good. All right guys, those are how to make two pretty cool looking overlays and after effects. And that's it, thanks for watching.